are you looking to make a bold statement in your home with a green paint color that feels absolutely natural, organic and earthy? Well, a sage green paint color that is equally bold and dominating and can make a wonderful statement in your home and help you connect and reconnect with nature. Well, you're at the right spot. Today, we're going to be discussing a Sherwin-Williams dark green paint color. I would say a dark green sage paint color that can make a wonderful statement in any home. Yes, we're going to be talking about Sherwin-Williams retreat today. So Sherwin Williams Retreat is a medium to darker toned sage green paint color which definitely falls on the neutral to neutral cooler end of the scale. Like other sage green paint colors, Retreat does not have any warm undertones and it may look just beautiful in cooler as well as warmer tone color palettes. So if your home is filled with natural wooden textures, let's say uh, golden oak, uh, not probably red oak, natural oak, walnut, mahogany and um, white oak, then definitely Sherwin Williams Retreat can make a wonderful, wonderful statement. Even with tones like satin brass or antique brass or oil or bronze, Retreat can make the just right amount of statement in that corner. This color can exude utmost calm, tranquility, serenity and can always help make your home feel closer to nature. So if you are really fond of a green paint color that is bold, dark and can make an accent in your home but without the weird warm undertones or uh, without any uh, peaking blue undertones then Sherwin Williams Retreat can definitely make a beautiful, beautiful appearance. So what exactly is this color Sherwin Williams Retreat? Well, I would classify it as three major terminologies. Sherwin Williams Retreat is a medium to medium darker sage green paint color that falls on the neutral to neutral cooler end of the scale. It definitely is not warm like other sage green paint colors out there and it has a deep green gray undertones and just a very minimal blue undertone to it. So let me tell you the blue is not very dominant, it's very subtle and it's very hidden throughout the day in any lighting condition. So, so we can exclude that as of now but apart from that the green grey undertones can be quite dominant. Now if you're wondering if Sherwin Williams Retreat is a neutral colour or it has more colour to it. Well let me tell you Sherwin Williams Retreat is definitely on the neutral end of the scale. It has just a little bit more colour to it as compared to grey. So even with excessive natural lighting conditions or even in a dull room the colour is bound, the green colour is bound to pop up more as compared to the grey in this colour. So just a subtle touch of grey is what makes this paint colour so muted subdued and uh, relaxed, calming and subtle. Another absolutely beautiful characteristic of Sherwin Williams Retreat is that this color can be used for warmer as well as cooler tone color palettes. So let's say you have warmer wooden texture, satin brass, you have jute rugs, you have uh, warmer creamy alabaster like color tones in the house, then Retreat can make a wonderful, wonderful accent. At the same time, uh, on the contrary, if you have a cooler tone home with uh, natural stone countertops in grey and then there's clean stark white paint colour on the walls, there are blues, greys raining the palette. Even in such situations, Retreat can work beautifully in your cooler tone colour palettes as well. So a very common question amongst homeowners is if Sherwin Williams Retreat is a warm or cool toned colour. Well, I would say that it's somewhere on the neutral end of the scale but with just a teeny tiny tinge of cool inclination to it. So it definitely is not warm, it definitely is not too cool, icy cool. At the same time it's on the neutral end of the scale but neutral also on the cooler end. Due to the existing green, blue and grey undertones, Sherwin Williams Retreat tends to look slightly cooler as compared to other bolder green grey colours that have notable brown undertones which make them 
on the warmer end of the scale. But at the same time, this color neither looks olive nor blue. So we know that it's right on the center, it's right on the neutral green gray end of the scale. If you compare a swatch of Sherwin Williams Retreat against Sherwin Williams Clary Sage, you'd feel cool, calm and compose the former color feels. On the other hand, when comparing Sherwin Williams Retreat against Sherwin Williams Underseas, you're quite likely to observe more cool green, grey and blue to the latter colour. Hence letting Sherwin Williams Retreat feel neutral and slightly warm. So now that you know the undertones of Sherwin Williams Retreat, you know that it's not a brown based warm sage green paint colour nor does it have a very dominant blue to make it a blue green grey colour and it's somewhere on the middle. So now that we know the undertones of Sherwin Williams Retreat, let's get started with another important technical aspect of a paint colour. Yes, I'm talking about the light reflectance value. So the LRV stands for light reflectance value, which can vary from 0 to 100, depending on how light or dark a paint color is. And in this situation, Sherwin Williams Retreat has an LRV of 21. Since this color has an LRV of 21, it falls somewhere on the medium to medium darker end of the scale. It's not as bold and dominating as uh, other darker paint colors like Urbane Bronze, Tricon Black, Iron Ore, Pewter Green. And at the same time, it's not as light as Agreeable Grey or uh, other medium toned paint colors. But you must know that this paint color is considerably dark enough to uh, bring a sense of dinginess to a smaller room with, with no incoming light. So you have to be slightly careful when you intend to use Sherwin Williams Retreat. And I would say that you must use this color only as an accent or in a space that has excessive natural light receiving to feel the true beauty of this paint color. So the next question is how to use Sherwin Williams Retreat paint color in your home. Well, I would say it's definitely a no-no for a whole house color scheme. You cannot use this color on all the common walls and like everywhere in your home because again, it's too bold and intimidating and it just steals the beauty of this paint color if you use it too much. But rather than that, if you're really intrigued by using Sherwin Williams Retreat in your home, then I would say maybe you can use it as an accent, let's say uh, just on the entryway door, maybe your kitchen lower cabinets and island, maybe one of the bedrooms actually accent wall or one of the bathrooms vanity and that is all and then you can further pair it with other warmer or cooler toned uh, off white colors beige paint colors and gray paint colors to make an overall cohesive color palette of your house here's a well curated pre-made color palette that i have created for sherwin williams retreat on etsy it enlists all the exact colors that pair with retreat color including how and where to use them in your whole house color palette I have included five color palettes with Sherwin Williams Retreat and complementary hues along with how to use each of those paint colors in various areas of your home. You'll also get the detailed material and fabric palette with each of these Sherwin Williams Retreat color palettes. Another bonus is paint planner and a detailed guide on paint sheens for various areas of your home. You can easily find this pre-packaged Sherwin Williams Retreat color palette on my Etsy shop as well as my website, I have added the links below. So where do you use Sherwin Williams Retreat paint in your home? Like I mentioned, Sherwin Williams Retreat can make a fundamental appearance as an accent in various areas of your home. You can certainly use this retreat color in approximately two to three, four spaces of a cohesive color palette. To name a few, here's where you can use this paint color. Bathroom vanity, bathroom wainscoting, entryway door, exterior shutters, interior doors, bedroom accent walls, living room fireplace around, dining room accent, kids rooms, built-in shelves, mudroom cabinets, foyer cabinets, laundry room cabinets. So now that we have discussed the technical aspects of this color along with how to use this paint color in your home, let's get started with the exact paint color names by Sherwin Williams that complement 
Sherwin Williams retreat. So you might be wondering that, okay, you want to use a particular white paint color to go, you want to use a particular gray color to go, what exact Sherwin Williams paint color would actually work with this paint color. So here is a list of whites, grays, rust, blush, mustards, beige, gray and gray paint colors that work beautifully with retreat color. Sherwin Williams white colors that go with retreat are alabaster, snowbound, shoji white, spare white, pure white. Here's a list of Sherwin Williams gray green colors that go with retreat. Sea salt, silver strand, rain washed, comfort gray. Now here's a list of Sherwin Williams gray and beige colors that go with Sherwin Williams retreat. Agreeable gray, Amazing Grey, Accessible Beige, Gossamer Veil, Urbane Bronze. Here's a list of Sherwin Williams Grey colors that go with Sherwin Williams Retreat. Cityscape, Tricon Black, Cyberspace, Tin Lizzy, Big Chill. And lastly, here's a list of Sherwin Williams Rust and Yellow colors that go with Retreat. Red and Point, Cavern Clay, Nawajo White. Now the next most common question amongst homeowners is whether what trim paint colors to go with Sherwin Williams Retreat. Well, I would personally like to recommend a neutral or a creamy base white paint color to go with Sherwin Williams Retreat. I wouldn't recommend Sherwin Williams Retreat to go with a cooler toned white paint color on the trims, moldings and ceilings because it's going to further make the color look cool and the blue undertones are bound to pop up. So in such circumstances, I would recommend that you choose Sherwin Williams Pure White as the ceiling, molding and trim paint color to go with Sherwin Williams Retreat. This color will bring the true beauty of Retreat Pure white is a neutral white paint color. It has a soft appearance and it can make a versatile appearance in any interior design style. On the other hand, my next recommendation would be Sherwin Williams Alabaster. So Sherwin Williams Alabaster is slightly darker than Sherwin Williams Pure White. It will make your retreat not look so bold and dramatic but slightly lighter than what it actually is. Sherwin Williams Retreat will also look less warmer as compared to what it actually is when compared with Alabaster. So if you have a warmer toned color palette in your house, you can even consider this creamy Alabaster color for the trims, moldings and ceilings. On the other hand, if you're looking to make a very bold and dramatic appearance, you have a larger space, you want a luxe, glam or uh, neoclassical appeal in your home and you want to paint all your walls, trims and ceilings in retreat, then you must go ahead with it. As far as your space is large enough to accommodate the depth of this color, you have a certain interior design style to showcase this uh, color palette and there is ample natural light to brighten up your space, you can definitely choose this paint color to go on all the surfaces of your room. And lastly, we're going to be talking about other Sherwin Williams dark green paint colors that share immense similarity with Sherwin Williams Retreat. So you may not be liking the cool or the warmth of this paint color or maybe it's too light or dark for your space. Here's a list of five Sherwin Williams dark green paint colors that I would like to pair Sherwin Williams Retreat with. So the five paint colors I would like to compare would be Sherwin Williams Evergreen Fog, Dry Thyme, Succulent, Rosemary and Pewter Green. So we're going to first start with Sherwin Williams Retreat versus Sherwin Williams Rosemary. So if you're looking for a bold and dramatic dark green Sherwin Williams paint color, then Sherwin Williams Rosemary is something to have an eye on. This color has an LRV of 14, which makes it way, way darker than Sherwin Williams Retreat, number one. Number two, this color is lesser muted and neutral than Sherwin Williams Retreat. So long story short, Sherwin Williams Retreat has more grey undertones to it as compared to Rosemary which has more green colour to it. So if you're looking for this bold green colour that has just a minimal touch of uh, grey to it but is slightly warmer as well and bolder, then Rosemary is your answer.
The second color that I would like to compare Retreat with would be Sherwin Williams Pewter Green. So Sherwin Williams Pewter Green and Retreat lie on the same color strip. They both are on the Sherwin Williams Sea Salt color strip. So we know that the undertones are alike and, and it is just the light reflectance values that differ for both of them. So if Retreat seems slightly lighter for your space and you can actually experiment with probably one tone darker color as well, then in that case Pewter Green can make a wonderful wonderful choice another color that i would like to compare retreat with would be succulent so sherwin williams succulent is a darker and bolder green paint color with a dominant blue undertone so if you like a bolder green paint color that also showcases a touch of blue in it then succulent can make a wonderful wonderful choice and trust me this color can also dominantly work for cooler tone color palettes, your coastal homes and even with cool tone grays, blues without popping up a lot of green in it. My next color recommendation would be Sherwin Williams Dried Thyme. So Sherwin Williams Dried Thyme and Sherwin Williams Retreat share the light reflectance value. So they both have an LRV of 21, but it's the undertones that vary for both of them. So if you're looking for a paint color which is as bold as Retreat but has a tinge of warmth to it, then Dried Thyme can make a wonderful choice. Dried Thyme is more on the warmer end of the scale with deeper brown undertones. And lastly, Sherwin Williams Retreat versus Sherwin Williams Evergreen Fog. So Sherwin Williams Evergreen Fog is way, way lighter than Sherwin Williams Retreat. It has an LRV of 30 and it is way, way uh, natural, organic and earthy as compared to Retreat. So if you're looking for a dark green paint color which is not as bold and dramatic as Retreat and also falls on the warmer end of the scale, has an earthy and organic appeal, then Evergreen Fog is what you must aim for. So, how do you like Sherwin Williams Retreat? Are you intrigued by this paint color? Where are you intending to use this paint color in your home? Maybe on the vanity or cabinets, maybe your bedroom walls or exterior walls? Well, I would love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for a weekly dose of interior decoration and color consultation guides. You can also check out my website at www.nishthasadana.com for latest blogs and color palettes for all time. And lastly, I'll see you all next week. Bye.